Welcome to Compost Set Products and our explanation of RV wall and roof delamination. Delamination shows up as a bubble on the sidewall of your RV, especially when the sun is shining on it and the fiberglass expands. In a case of typical delamination, the plywood plies separate due to moisture getting into the wall and causing the glue to dissolve. Here we can see a thin veneer layer of plywood on the exterior fiberglass as well as a layer of plywood stuck to the styrofoam insulation. When the wall remains intact, we call this a closed wall situation. And here we're going to inject epoxy into the wall to re-bond the delaminated plywood. In a closed wall situation, we're going to use the Composet SLV injectable RV rebonding epoxy. As you can see it here in our number 12 kit, our smallest kit. The Composet SLV resin is quite thin. It can be poured into the delaminated areas or injected using the syringes and tubing that provided with the kits. Rolling the siding is a good idea to help spread the resin inside the wall, followed by a fairly detailed clamping system, depending on your application. We produce a number of delamination repair kits based on our proprietary Composet SLV products. As you can see, the kits get larger with more resin and more advanced tools, piping, tubing, and even including a roller for the largest kit, the Master Plus kit. A feature of the Composet kits is the customizable tubing and piping that you can assemble in various configurations to help you inject the resin into the wall. The plus kits include the larger 150 cc syringes, but all the kits include the 60 cc syringes and the plastic tubing. The metal piping comes in various sizes and lengths depending on which kit you purchase. When the fiberglass is pulled away from the wall, we call this the open wall, where the injectable resin is too thin to do a sufficient job. For open walls, we created the Composet CompoBond trowel grade resin. It is thicker, more like a paste, and can be applied by brush, roller, or trowel, and fills larger voids. As with all delamination repair, rolling the surface and then building a clamp system is required for the CompoBond product. In the end, the results can come out excellent but of course we always say the smaller area of delamination and the easier to access the better the probability of a successful repair the compo bond open wall kits come in four different sizes and four different configurations and they all include the rollers sleeve trowel spreaders mix buckets even including up to a two gallon kit thank you for watching our video you can visit Composet Products at www.dlamrepair.com and www.rvroofandwall.com.